some of you may be aware that we published a book that dealt with algorithms pretty heavily. Um, let me see if I can find a find an image of it here. It's called Corrosion, and it actually um, do a lot of work on one particular chapter. This is the book, uh, The Corroding Empire. Um, it's actually a better foundation. It's a better f uh, imitation of Asimov's foundation, which is itself an imitation of the decline and fall of the Roman Empire. Um, it, it's a much better book than uh, John Scalzi's book was because Scalzi never understood, he doesn't know history. And so he never understood what Asimov was doing. Um, he tried to do a weird sort of pastiche of, of uh, Dune and Foundation, and it was just, it was just ludicrous. Um, but what what we came up with in, in discussing you know, what the book would be about is what would happen if a society became too dependent upon algorithms? You know, what would happen if instead of people being able to make decisions, they were simply applying the recommendations made by the computer algorithms? And the problem, of course, is that you don't have, if you don't understand how to program the computers, you can't understand what the algorithms are doing. And you can't understand how to fix them if they go wrong. And so when, so the, the whole theory uh, behind this book, the whole theory is that um, the algorithms are beginning to decay. They're, they're decaying over time and this is having a tremendous amount of impact on everything related to the interstellar society. Um, yeah, this book is not on Amazon. Um, speaking of algorithms, we had some, uh, this created some problems for, for Amazon's algorithm. And so, um, they didn't force us to take it down. We did it voluntarily. Um, but let me see. Uh, you can, you can actually buy it at, uh, arcavencomics.com. In fact, you can also get the audiobook, uh, which is there. Um, and includes the ebook. Let me see. Here we go. Yeah, I'll I'll put the link here in case anyone's interested. Um, it's a really good book, as as I think a few of the folks have have already said. Um, but you'll um you'll find it interesting. But so, what does this have to do with Google? Well, according to Michael Yon, who is a very credible photojournalist. He's somebody that I've spoken to before. Um, I wouldn't say that I know him well, but I know him well enough to uh, know that he doesn't talk a lot of BS. Um, he just came out with a note and um, pointed out that a Google Insider, he, he spent some time talking to a Google Insider who is about to come out in about a week. And let me read this to you. Achtung, pay attention. Tonight I talked for about an hour with a Google Snowden who will soon go public, a deep insider. What he means by that almost certainly is a programmer. He's talking about somebody on the technical side. Fascinating stuff. I cannot say much now other than pay attention to what he is coming out starting in a week or so from now. Source said many interesting things about how the Chinese are flooding into tech companies like Google and some of the incredible techniques they can use to brainwash or at least mislead millions of people. And this is absolutely true. In fact, uh, it's really remarkable to see how much of, for example, Indiegogo's income is now dependent upon a Chinese business. Take this as an example that I am making up based on our conversation. Again, I am making this up, but is based on our conversation. A politician tweets, saying we must protect our national interests. Google, or whoever, immediately promotes all stories that translates must pr protect our national interests to nationalism 
and then, in almost real time, rewrites the meaning of nationalism to include traits such as xenophobic, racist, and references Nazis as nationalists. This happens so quickly and so comprehensively that most people will never notice that in the 30 seconds the, the curtain was closed, Google or whoever rewrote part of the dictionary in history. To state this more clearly, they can basically rewrite what you say, write, sing, wear, or hand gesture, name it, and they can rewrite that faster than we can make popcorn. They can do this anonymously, saying the algorithm is doing it, when reality, in reality, they write the rules that make the rules, which, yes, that's absolutely true. An algorithm doesn't force you to do anything. All an algorithm is, is a set, it doesn't excuse them in any way. It actually is worse because it means that they, in a premeditated manner, set the rules in order to manipulate people. Anyway, the insider told me much more. I do not know how much already is public, but I do think that if the source is correct, President Trump and a lot of others in powerful positions will be extremely angry with some of the internet players who have already hired half of China. So, now this is not new to anybody who's technical. Everybody knows this. And um, Marie says, algorithms are predictable if you watch them. Exactly. The internet is overloaded, so it makes it easier to way find ways around. They're like stalkers you shake by driving in a different direction. That's correct. And um, so what they're doing on a real-time level is they're basically taking what you say. And you know, normally, the, you know, the Google rules, the page rank, and all that stuff, it just looks at what you say, and then it links it to everything that it naturally links to, right? So if I say something about, I'm a fan of the Minnesota Vikings, it says, you know, Viking. What attaches to Viking? So it might go to the NFL. It might go to the state of Minnesota. It might go to the historical Vikings and their ravages across Europe. Um, all of these things will be um, will be linked to that. But what they're doing here, what he's saying that they're doing there, is that instead of linking what you actually said, they're changing it. And then they're linking it to all these other things. So, for example, if, if you know, what would if I said I love the Minnesota Vikings, and then you know, instead of the algorithm linking to all those correct links to the Vikings, they change the word Viking to uh, I love um, you know what it, I love the Taiwanese, and all the links instead of being linked, you know, so my actual statement looks the same, but all of the links to it are going to be inaccurate. And so it's a, it's a manip instant manipulation that is taking place. And this is how they manage to modify what is trending um, and so forth. So, um, and this is, deeply and profoundly dishonest. And in fact, it probably uh, would create a stage for a massive class action suit from advertisers because this is absolutely not the sort of thing that they're paying for. Um, and so I think that this is going to be one more, uh, you know, one more stone, maybe a big one, piled upon uh, their eventual grave. It, it is sabotage. And Rockley Marina says, I remember the days when a search would actually work. Exactly. You know, they've broken their entire purpose in the interests of manipulation. And so, uh, and this is what you get when you have non-Western people, low trust people operating in a Western environment. You know, it's, it's bound to happen. These are, you know, none of these people can be trusted. They're all from low trust cultures.